Now guys, the question is, can you turn a physical artwork like a painting or a sculpture into an NFT? And if so, how? The answer to this question is a clear yes, but the process itself is not as easy as you might think. There are a few things that you have to keep in mind and this is what I'm gonna talk about in today's video. Before I continue, two important things. The first one, and as we talk about crypto, let me make this clear, I am not a financial advisor and I do not give any financial or any investment advice in this or any future videos. This one is for educational purpose only. So please do your research before you throw money at something. And second, if you like the content, smash the like button and subscribe to my channel. And now let's get started. When we visit big marketplaces like Nifty Gateway or Maker's Place, it currently looks like the NFT space is reserved for digital art only. But this is not true and I'm gonna show you why in a minute. Digital art is so omnipresent right now because the restrictions it has and the solutions non-fungible tokens provide fit perfectly together. So for the first time, digital art can be classified as unique ownable and tradable. Furthermore, digital artists were among the first to take up crypto related topics in their work. And this of course receives a lot of attention and traction considering who the current buyers and collectors are. Many of them are operating in the crypto space for years now and quite a few have made a load of money that is now ready to invest. At the same time, and this is absolutely fantastic too, artists working with digital tools finally get the attention they would have deserved from the very beginning on. And I am personally so pleased for all of them who cash in big right now, because I know how much hard work and dedication it needs to get where they are at this point. In my opinion, and when the first hype is over, NFTs will reach the broad art market and also incorporate artists who don't exclusively work with digital tools. So this will simply happen because of the many advantages of the blockchain. The blockchain allows us to record the origin or the source of an artwork, at least when the drop is curated by a marketplace like Nifty Gateway, and it makes it easy to keep track of every future sale and every future ownership. In the long run, NFTs have the potential to largely replace art galleries and how they interact as an intermediary between the buyer and the artist. But don't worry, this will probably not gonna happen anytime soon. So if you work in this field, you still have plenty of time to uh, adjust, but be aware things are going to change forever. And now let's return to our initial question. How can you participate as an artist who does not use digital tools? by digitizing your work. Easy, right? But be aware that while the actual digitization process is simple, you can take pictures with your phone, you can buy a 2D scanner on Amazon for 100 bucks, or you can even commission someone who offers a professional service, including color correction. It still raises the question, what happens to the work after digitization? So which one is the original and unique piece? Is it the physical item? Is it the NFT? Is it both? Is it none? Now, the thing is, and this is important, it's up to you to decide. You have several different options here and all of these options probably require you to rethink your creation process. So let's take a look at uh, what some of these options are. Option number one, you declare both pieces, the physical and the digital as unique. So in this case, you can sell both or you can only sell one. You could even sell them separately to different collectors or you can sell the NFT and add the physical artwork on top or vice versa. Then it's up to the buyer how he handles, displays and archives both pieces. Option number two, you digitize the artwork and simply destroy the physical piece. So this sounds radical, but it makes sense. Burn it or throw it into the shredder after tokenization. This way you end up with only one unique digital artwork. You can record the shredding process and edit as an unlockable video content to the NFT for instance. 
Option number three, if you don't like the idea of destroying your work, simply make it part of the creation process and declare it as a necessary tool that was needed to create the final digital piece. So in this case, it would then be considered as something like a master model or even something like a mold that was used to create the final digital artwork. This also means that it stays in your workshop as a tool and it's not for sale. Option number four, the physical piece is not the final artwork, but the starting point for digital enhancements. So this means that you use the painting or the sculpture and turn it into an animation, for instance. The outcome would then be the final unique piece of work. And last but not least, option number five, you can also go the other way around and create the digital artwork first and then add an additional physical representation, like Beeple did for his first drop on Nifty Gateway, he was shipping a physical token containing high quality prints and a display that shows the artwork to the buyers of his NFTs. Now, I am pretty sure that there are many more ways and possibilities to combine everything that I've just listed and to prove that this is not just dull theory, and that it gets handled like this already in practice, let's take a look at a few prominent examples. When you go to niftygateway.com and uh, take a look at the marketplace, and here let's scroll down to the very bottom of the page where we can find a drop by Michael Kagan. Then you can see that this one mainly contains actual paintings. So let's select this one here, Eldrin. It was the first of an edition of three. And this one is clearly an image of a painting. And guess who owns it? It is owned by Tyler Winklefoss, one of the Winklefoss twins. And this of course makes perfect sense because Nifty Gateway belongs to Gemini and Gemini was founded by the Winklefoss twins. And let's also take a look at the market stats. This one was created almost a year ago. So it's probably the first one or one of the first drops that took place on Nifty Gateway. The original market price is 5,000 US dollars and the number of secondary sales is still a zero. Let's also take a very brief look at the profile of Michael Kagan on Nifty Gateway. And here it states that he's known for his traumatic paintings of man pushing the limits of nature through technology. And let's go to his Instagram profile. And to be honest, I'm not so familiar with his work, but it looks like he's mainly a painter. And he has lots and lots of stunning pieces in his portfolio. I mean, just look at this one here. Absolutely amazing. Another very successful and great artist hosted on Nifty Gateway is Trevor Jones. He already did uh, a couple of drops. The first one took place in July last year. It was Picasso's Bull. And this one also started as a physical painting. An interesting detail here is that the NFT of the original uh, of this one here, edition of one, has been sold for more than the actual physical painting. So this one here was created July last year and it was sold for a little bit more than 55,000 US dollars. And as far as I know, the physical painting was bought for something like $50,000. So this one was then withdrawn by the owner in August last year and it was listed again a few weeks ago for a pretty high amount for a little bit more than $5.5 million. Trevor Jones has an interesting essay on his website written by Bill Hare about the creation of Picasso's bull. Uh, here you can see some details. Mm, the man in the picture is Bill Hare, not Trevor Jones. And at the bottom of this page, there's also a short uh, video that illustrates the creative process behind Picasso's bull. The last thing I want to mention is that he did not only release uh, a still image, but also an animation. So as you can see, that's the same bull, but this time animated for the gold, for the silver and the bronze edition. As you can see, it's up to you to decide what you make out of it. Um, we are still at the very beginning of this entire NFT movement, so this also means that many issues are not solved yet. I hope this video was helpful. If you like the content, subscribe to my channel, thumbs up, 
If you have any further questions, leave them in the comment section below the video. I promise I will read all of them. Thanks for tuning in and see you in the next one.